Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing by Judy Bloom. Chapter One, The Big Winner. I won Dribble at Jimmy Fargo's birthday party. All the other guys got to take home goldfish in little plastic bags. I won him because I guessed there were 348 jelly beans in Mrs. Fargo's jar. Really, there were 423, she told us later. Still, my guess was closest. Peter Warren Hatcher is the big winner, Mrs. Fargo announced. At first, I felt bad that I didn't get a goldfish, too. Then Jimmy handed me a glass bowl. Inside, there was some water and three rocks. A tiny green turtle was sleeping on the biggest rock. All the other guys looked at their goldfish. I knew what they were thinking. They wished they could have tiny green turtles, too. I named my turtle Dribble while I was walking home from Jimmy's party. I live at 25 West 68th Street. It's an old apartment building, but it's got one of the best elevators in New York City. There are mirrors all around. You can see yourself from every angle. There's a soft cushion bench to sit on if you're too tired to stand. The elevator operator's name is Henry Bevelheimer. He lets us call him Henry because Bevelheimer is very hard to say. Our apartment's on the 12th floor, but I don't have to tell Henry. He already knows. He knows everybody in the building. He's that smart. He even knows I'm nine and in fourth grade. I showed him dribble right away. I want him at a birthday party, I said. Henry smiled. Your mother's going to be surprised. Henry was right. My mother was really surprised. Her mouth opened when I said, just look at what I want at Jimmy Fargo's birthday party. I held up my tiny green turtle. I've already named him, Dribble. Isn't that a great name for a turtle? My mother made a face. I don't like the way he smells, she said. What do you mean, I asked. I put my nose right down close to him. I didn't smell anything but turtle. So Dribble smells like a turtle, I thought. Well, he's supposed to. That's what he is. And I'm not going to take care of him either, my mother added. Of course you're not, I told her. He's my turtle. And I'm the one who's going to take care of him. You're going to change his water and clean out his bowl and feed him and all of that, she asked. Yes, I said. And even more, I'm going to see to it that he's happy. This time, my mother made a funny noise, like a groan. I went into my bedroom. I put Dribble on top of my dresser. I tried to pet him and tell him he would be happy living with me. But it isn't easy to pet a turtle. They aren't soft and furry, and they don't lick you or anything. Still... I had my very own pet at last. Later, when I sat down at the dinner table, my mother said, I smell turtle. Peter, go and scrub your hands. Some people might think that my mother is my biggest problem. She doesn't like turtles, and she's always telling me to scrub my hands. That doesn't mean just run them under the water. Scrub means I'm supposed to use soap, and rub my hands together. Then I've got to rinse and dry them. I ought to know by now. I've heard it enough. But my mother isn't my biggest problem. Neither is my father. He spends a lot of time watching commercials on TV. That's because he's in the advertising business. These days, his favorite commercial is the one about Juicio. He wrote it himself. And the president of the Juicio company liked it so much he sent my father a whole crate of Juicio for our family to drink. It tastes like a combination of oranges, pineapples, grapefruits, pears, and bananas. And if you want to know the truth, I'm getting pretty sick of drinking it. But Juicio isn't my biggest problem either. My biggest problem is my brother, Farley Drexel Hatcher. He's two and a half years old. Everybody calls him Fudge. I feel sorry for him if he's going to grow up with a name like Fudge, but I don't say a word. It's none of my business. 
fudge is always in my way. He messes up everything he sees. And when he gets mad, he throws himself flat on the floor and he screams and he kicks and he bangs his fists. The only time I really like him is when he's sleeping. He sucks four fingers on his left hand and makes a slurping noise. When Fudge saw Dribble, he said, Ooh, see? And I said, that's my turtle. Get it? Mine. You don't touch him. Fudge said, no touch. Then he laughed like crazy. <laughs>